Good morning and welcome back to Red Bone and Rice. I am a Red Bone. Um, Y'all, I know it has been a while since I made a video, um, but but life has just been happening and, um, and I apologize. So hopefully um, I will be able to, to come back uh, a little more consistently with, with the videos. So as you can see, my backdrop is a little bit different now. I have since uh, moved to a little larger space. Um, I realized that living in an apartment gives you really limited space. Um, and my office was shared with my living room and I hated that. So I, I needed a bigger space and I needed a dedicated area of the home where it can be my office so at the end of the day I can walk away and I can close the door. In addition to that, my neighbor, former neighbor upstairs had two large Labradoodles. Now y'all, I'm not a dog hater, but those dogs were big and they were loud. And um, there was nothing that could be done about that except for me to move. And so anyway, so I moved and so that's the, that's kind of the topic of today's videos. Uh, basically, I guess I, I would call this video um, or title it um, The Purge Journey. So if like I, I looked this up on on uh, dictionary.com because I wanted to see a more formal um, uh, definition of the purge. And so basically what it says is that um, hold on y'all I gotta put my glasses on to see the computer because it's over there and I'm over here. So basically it says that um, purging is the abrupt or violent removal of people from an organization or place. Well, of course I'm not moving people anywhere, but it's also a purification or cleansing. Um, the expulsion of food from the body by self-induced vomiting, we're not doing any of that either. So we're going to look at this as a cleansing in a sense. So I am wanting to talk about this, this, this purging as it relates to moving. So every time that I have ever moved, and I'm sure you've asked yourself this question too, like, where does all this stuff come from? Where did, where did, where was all this stuff? Where did I have it stored? How did I have all this stuff in here? And so it was the same thing. It's, it's always been the same thing. And so even when I moved from Texas, halfway back across the country, um, I had all this stuff, but I sold a lot of stuff and I got rid of a lot of stuff before I left Texas. And that's actually what, I guess that's when my journey probably started. But if, but if I, had to be really honest, it may have started when I moved to Texas because when I moved to Texas, um, God had me get rid of everything because I had a different plan for getting to Texas, but that fell through and none of that worked. So I had to start getting rid of stuff. I had to either give stuff away, I had to put it in storage for a short term or, or, or sell it. And so I guess it really started back then. But once I was out there in Texas and had been there for 11 years, I, um, I guess reaccumulated a lot of stuff. And so then the move to Florida, I realized you, you've got a lot of stuff. And so started getting rid of stuff. And, you know, even I'll say my friends kind of played a part in this and that, you know, they had their homes set up with their significant others for 20, 30 years. And and I just saw all the stuff they had and I was like, I just don't want that much stuff. I don't need that much stuff. And so needless to say with each of those, um, I guess moves and ob observations, I realized I need to get rid of stuff. So um, with this latest move, even though I had downsized considerably, because I, I even downsized from like, the number of beds that I owned. I was like, I'm not keeping three beds in my house anymore. Um, people don't really come to see me that often. I don't really need three beds. And no offense, but I don't want you to get too comfortable at the uh, Red Bone and Rice B&B. &B. And so I continue to reevaluate the stuff that I have um, in my, my home and how much of it. So even with this move, I was like, trying to get rid of stuff, making donations, you know, um, trying to, to make thoughtful donations, not just dump stuff off on Goodwill or, or Salvation Army, but I really wanted to know that if someone was going to sell the things I was donating, that the monies were going back to a good, um, I guess, um, 
cause. And so I decided to donate to the uh, Breast Cancer Foundation, our local Breast Cancer Foundation here in, in my area. And so doing that, you know, you know, they, they even come and pick it up. That's what made it so easy. They picked it up. So I'm constantly reevaluating the stuff that I have. And so even as I've, you know, been in the place, the new space for a little bit and, you know, looking at what I've got, like I have started going through old photos because I realized that I don't need to keep photos of my niece and nephew. I'm going to give those to them. I don't want to wait for, for my death. And then somebody have to go through that stuff and, and take what they want. I want to go ahead and give them what that, give them those things now and then they can do whatever they would like to with them. Um, same thing with books. As you can see here, I currently have two bookcases. Y'all, I used to have like five bookcases in my house. Why? <laughs> and I had them full of books. Why? And I got those books from attending library conferences over the years. And, you know, when you go to conferences, they always give you something free. So it's like, it's free. I'm going to take it. Hey, okay. So I would come home from a conference having collected maybe 50 to a hundred books that were free. Of course, I didn't pay for them. So of course I was going to take them. And so I would come back, um, go back home and I would give those to my students at the high school that I worked at or colleagues, you know, but I just liked them because they looked pretty on the shelf too. I felt like I lived in a library when I had my shelves full of books. And so it looked like I was in a library. And so I know that's crazy. I know that's, that's, that's crazy. But, um, so, so that was something I collected and, and, and could not, I was emotionally attached to books and it was really hard for me to separate, um, from books. So I had to really just have a, a real conversation with myself and ask myself the question, are you going to read that book again? And the honest answer was no, I'm not. So those books had to go to a new home, uh, greeting cards. So I don't collect greeting cards. Um, and just so you know, if you send me a card, it's probably going to be put in the trash. And I know that may sound heartless to you, but don't be offended because I read it and it resonated with me and it touched my heart, but I don't keep greeting cards. I keep greeting cards from my mom and a few other select cards that I really liked that I have received, but I don't have a place for greeting cards. And, and I'm, and it's not like I'm going to go back and look at them again anyway. So I started discarding greeting cards. Um, so all this to say, when you think about this, the, 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 the purging process and the, the cleansing and the purification, um, it, it's just a necessary part of life. And, you know, if it takes a move to another residence for that to happen, it is definitely something we need to give consideration to. Um, I can tell you right now that even in my garage that, that I constantly, I, I don't like clutter in my garage. I'm not one of those people who is not able to put her car in the garage. My car is in the garage. And I think that is the purpose of the garage to, be, to put my car in the garage. And so I've never understood people who have all this other stuff in there and can't even park their car in there. So I am intentional about organizing and keeping stuff minimalized in my garage or keeping it neatly placed in storage containers and tubs on sh uh, shelving units and preferably these mobile shelving units with wheels. Um, I, I just, I hate clutter and I don't want to be um, a hoarder and I just, like a minimalist, minimalist life. And so all that to say, y'all, uh, if you are in a position to, to get rid of some stuff, do it now before we return to the life we had pre COVID before everything gets busy again. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, uh, joining Redbone and Rice. I am a Redbone and I hope to see you again real soon.